Ebola strikes fear in the hearts of people who hear the word. Movies have been made about the dreadful outcome of becoming infected with Ebola. But it's just one of several deadly hemorrhagic fever viruses that can be used as a weapon against mankind. There are many types of viruses in the world, some more deadly than others. Some viruses cause mild colds, while other viruses cause severe illness and death. The viral hemorrhagic fever viruses are of great concern. These viruses cause internal and external bleeding in people who get infected. Viral hemorrhagic fever is caused by four families of viruses. You can find more information about these families and their viruses under resources following this presentation. They include Ebola, Marburg, Lassa fever, yellow fever, and a few others. None of the viral hemorrhagic fever viruses occur naturally in the United States. Although with travel becoming easier and more common, an outbreak of these viruses is a growing possibility. Like we've seen with SARS and monkeypox, new viruses can easily enter our country. The way that hemorrhagic fever viruses spread varies according to the type of virus. You can get some of these viruses by being in close contact with people or animals that are infectious, or by being bitten by an infected insect. Some of these viruses may have been around for a long time. One third of Athenians lost their lives to a mysterious plague in 431 BC. Some historians believe that Ebola may have been the disease that was described as the cause of all these deaths during war in ancient Greece. Hemorrhagic fever viruses are worrisome as possible biological weapons because they spread so easily. Infection can be transmitted by direct contact with infectious body fluids or by infectious droplets that reach the mucous membranes of your nose, eyes, or mouth. Ebola has caused devastating outbreaks in several parts of Africa, killing entire families as well as nurses and doctors working in hospitals. A recent outbreak in the Republic of Congo caused hundreds of deaths and froze travel and commerce in large parts of the country. Other hemorrhagic fever viruses, including the ones that cause Lassa fever, Rift Valley fever, and Congo Crimean hemorrhagic fever, have caused large outbreaks that killed people and, in some cases, livestock. Marburg virus, a close relative of Ebola, is already known to have been developed as a weapon. A terrorist attack using any of these viruses in a populated area could result in mass illness and many deaths. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and other agencies are staying alert to the possibility of attacks using these hemorrhagic fever viruses. Our partnership with health departments and physicians is critical to quickly identifying even a single case of one of these diseases in the U.S. We continue to be prepared to deal with the possibility of a large outbreak, but it's always best to contain an outbreak quickly before it grows out of control.